Good day everyone, and welcome to the Transport for Sydney Vlogs channel. Today, being Sunday the 29th of October 2023, one of Sydney's new metro stations, Waterloo, held a community open day, which allowed the public to get a first look of Waterloo Station prior to the Sydney Metro City and South West Line opening next year. Fortunately, I was available to travel there earlier this morning and see the station in person. So basically in this video, you'll be seeing clips of what Waterloo Station looks like from the exterior and interior, including the entrance, the concourse level and the metro platforms. You will also see clips of what the walk is like from the entrance down to the concourse and further down to the metro platforms, as well as other short clips I filmed during my time there. This is the first of the new stations on the Sydney Metro City and South West Line to host an open day, and I have been told that there will be more to come, which I will come back to later in this video. But to start with, here is what Waterloo Station was like on its open day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The design of the ceiling looks quite unique, um, definitely something new compared to the existing metro stations uh, on the on the northwest line. We've got two lifts here that will take you down, looks like, to a bike parking level and then also down to the concourse. In front of these two lifts, uh, out at street level, you also have a little Sydney Metro style station bench. And yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what will be uh, behind these windows. I guess it could be probably retail, maybe a coffee shop, maybe a, a convenience store. Not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, it looks like there is some retail space here, um, here at the street entrance level. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the escalators, which will take us down to the Metro concourse. Currently facing Raglan Street. And then down in that direction is the escalators down to the concourse.
So yeah, what you're seeing uh, is the concourse level here at Waterloo Station. You've got the escalators there up ahead, which I just came down. Um, you've got Opal Gates um, on the right and left hand side. And in the middle is the escalators on the north side down to the platform. You also got another set of escalators on the south side, which will take you down to the platform as well. And then two lifts uh, in the middle, which will take you down to the platform as well. Bit of a similar layout um, to the underground stations uh, on the Northwest line, such as uh, Castle Hill, Hill Showground and Norwest. But yeah, otherwise there are definitely some different features. Um, this concourse definitely looks slightly newer and more modern compared um, to the concourse that you see at Castle Hill and the underground metro stations on the Northwest line. Got toilets up ahead there. Alrighty, now I'm gonna make my way down to the platforms using the escalators on the north side. So you've got the Sydney Metro teal colour station sign, Sydney Metro style bench as well. And here are the two platforms. So the platform on the right is a northbound platform towards the city, uh, Chatswood and Talawong. And then the platform on the left will be for services to Sydney and eventually on to the Bankstown line. Something different I already noticed are the destination display screens. Look slightly newer, uh, different um, display or different, I guess, TV to the one that is currently being used um, on all the stations between Talawong and Chatswood. So that's one notable difference. Besides, obviously, the newer fit out Yeah, I'm just going to now take a walk down to the other end of the platforms. So 
something else I'm also picking up already is I feel like uh, these platforms are definitely more spacious compared to the ones at let's say Castle Hill, um, Hill Show Grand and Norwest. So yeah, I feel like it's the platform in total slightly wider. Maybe that's just my peripheral vision, I could be wrong. But yeah, I do feel like uh, the platforms are definitely slightly wider than um, the other underground metro stations, which are which have already been in use since 2019. That's about all the clips um, that I have to film. So I'm gonna make my way out now, but I thought I'd just film the journey back up uh, from the concourse up to street level. Might take the middle escalators. on the wall. I think blends in quite nicely with the look of the station. It's quite a big hall, uh, the concourse.
So those were all the clips that I had filmed during my time at Waterloo Station. After watching this video, I'm really curious to hear what all of your thoughts are of this new metro station. Personally, I'm quite liking the look and the design of it. The platforms do seem to be wider than the other platforms at existing metro underground stations and the high concourse ceiling definitely makes the station feel more open and spacious in my opinion. I also think the artwork they've added blends in nicely and suits the station's ambience. So yeah, feel free to share your thoughts or any questions you may have regarding Waterloo Station in the comments section below. While I was there, I also took the time to ask some questions to the Sydney Metro team on site. One of the questions I asked was whether some of the other stations will also host an open day anytime soon. The response I received to that was that Sydney may possibly be the next station to host an open day, followed by Barangaroo. However, that and dates have not yet been confirmed, but it is something I'll keep an eye out for. Another question I asked, one that a lot of us I'm sure would love to, love to know the answer to, and that was whether they have an indication yet as to when the line may open exactly. And while they were unable to give me a specific month, the plan is for the line to open sometime around mid next year from what I was told. My guess is we may see the line open during one of the winter months if testing and commissioning works progress smoothly from here on in. So that was just some extra information I wanted to share in this video from the discussion I had with one of the Sydney Metro consultants there. Now that is all that I have to talk about for this video, but I am going to wrap this video up with a slideshow of numerous photos I took of Waterloo Station from different angles. I hope you all liked the video. Again, feel free to share your thoughts and any questions you may have in the comment section below. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed the slideshow. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.